Hi everybody, it's Susan from Beth's Bees. And this is one of my yards that I'm still taking honey from. You can see that if you've been with me before, this is my overgrown yard. I've got it cut back, I'm really working on it. I hate cutting back flowers, but obviously you gotta get to your bees. Today, because I'm taking honey, I wanna show you the use of and a skateboard. I am basically a treatment free beekeeper. I don't use chemicals of any kind in my hive. I don't use miticides. I won't use honey be gone or uh, honey whatever the smoky liquids any fume boards i don't do any of that i sweep bees off and i don't even use a smoker so n my smoker is reserved for hot hives otherwise i'm using uh, sugar spray water bottle spray with a little essential oil a soft chemical if people have to get really technical uh, it's not a constant effort I'm in my hives probably once every two weeks and the light spray is not a lingering spray they consume it so this is my escape board and it's based it's a homemade escape board but they have them for sale and it's a triangle so it looks a lot like a inner cover, like this. It goes under the super that you're trying to clear. So this is inside your super that you're trying to clear and the bees have to exit somehow. So they go down the hole and they go into the pyramid. And it's got it's almost like a little maze and on each of the corner they have a way out at each angle and they're all tipped slightly to the right because bees generally move to the right they move in a to the right so this has been used a lot and in my case this point uh, it's going to go on a hive where due to my neglect I put on empty frames which are absolutely empty and they decided to cross comb it and because I didn't catch it I left it I let them cap it sometimes I can grab comb off anyway but it's very warm it's we're in the high 80s it's very humid and I don't want to take that so see if they'll let me in here the foil I had some questions this is a bubble wrap foil there may be brand names Let's see. So, yes this was left on her you can see she did I thought it was towards the end of the flow. Obviously, she had more ideas. And I can get a good shot. You can see she crossed it up very nicely for me. It's all good work. I can extract it. I'll use the wax for candles. It's not a loss to her, it's not a loss to me, but it's a hassle. All this just goes straight through. A lot of them will build straight. And she obviously started to build straight. And then got creative. So to take that out, it would either be dripping 
honey like crazy or I'm going to try to put her on an escape board in which case I can get hopefully 90% of the bees out and then just kind of give them a chance to fly out when I take it and blowing your human breath your you can actually blow in there and they'll move through but you don't want you know you don't want this many bees coming out at you when you blow because sometimes they come right out at your face too that's always nice so my escape board is going to go on right here and that way they can go down into the hive and i'm going to leave it on probably at least an hour but like i said I'm in South Mississippi with this heat index cre creeping up. So if I leave it on overnight, the hive beetle has a chance to just go crazy in there and I could lose the whole super. Because I have to assume the hive beetle is in my hive. Even if I don't see them, they're there and they'll take advantage of that situation. The other thing is, uh, in the heat, the hours without the fanning, without the cooling system of the hive, the wax can then drop, drop from the frame. Again, can you use it? Sure. But I try to make it as least messy as possible. And so we'll see how it works out. you can see that they crossed it again all the way down actually a nice work of art but at this point when I need to take it it's no good to me and if she was to get up in there and start laying brood that would be a real shame you definitely don't want her laying brood in crossed up comb so I have this when I first started doing foundationless i had it a lot not really understanding the whole idea of it and now it's like one out of a hundred that i get it so i'm pretty happy with my learning curve circle side to the top escape down otherwise you'll have them escaping up into the hive of or the super of honey and not being able to get back down that's not what your objective is here
So that's all there is. And then in a few hours, we'll see how, how much she's cleared. Ooh. Okay, so this is the hive and I had to leave it overnight because a couple hours was not enough. But because of the heat, it looks like I got one that dropped. But other than that, it is a bee-free hive, or a bee-free super. There are no bees up there. So, but the heat, it did drop this frame here. So, I have to be careful taking that one. If I can lift that out. Can you hold that? Yeah, it dropped. What is? I'm not gonna take it all the way out until we get her home. You know Focus that. down here. How it dropped. That's the heat. That's the heat. Drop it like that. Okay. Other than that, they look okay. And then we should be able to get this home pretty good. Okay. So there you have it. Your escape board, especially if you're up north or you don't have the heat, you can do it. Or if you're doing it in the fall, when it's a little bit cooler. You don't want too much dropping. Happy beekeeping.